obviously that 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 caution phase still was going on. Now it was calling me. Snake. Eva. I finished planting the bomb on the rail bridge. If we get rid of the bridge, the enemy won't be able to follow us. That should at least buy us some time. I've also set up the escape route. How are things going on your end? I just finished planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at the bridge. All right. Cool. Because I ran out of uh, trank juice. Trank juice? Suppressor juice. That's a thing, right? <laughs> okay, there's one more... One more engineer guy. He's asleep. Now we can, uh... Slap these things on the... Fuel tanks. The whatchamacallits. Butterfly. Got you this time. finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. That'll be easy, right? Snake! <laughs> or maybe not. Cool. Why'd you come back? Thirteen minutes. It's a good time to save. This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The philosopher's legacy. Dun, 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 dun. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the legacy. You might say that this film itself is the philosopher's legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. 
We found this radio along with her too. Well, no, it's not on the radio. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Ah! Oh. Isn't that right? What was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell. Enough kisses from you. Ah! Ah! Ten I minutes. Have known. Sokolov wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the philosopher's legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. Why, thank you. <laughs> During the last great war, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. F -f 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 to secure life. victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming power, assets fitting of our great country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. The money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin failed to produce results I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohod. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The boss was conniving enough to see things my way. The world was once one, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this, we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. That trump card was to be the Shagohod and the Cobra Union.
I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shagohod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C-3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Everything to me. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course. Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even. By spinning my guns around. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. No more judo and no more field strips. Stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Colonel, let me- Silence! Seven minutes. Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? Well, that's one way for that to work. I really don't remember how this boss fight goes. This is a once-in-a-lifetime battle. Let's make it a good one. <laughs> <laughs> 